Dear Diary, Today I was looking through my elementary school yearbook. Came across the kid who was hooked on phonics. He overdosed. Forever alone, watching what I read. Dear Diary, Today on my math test, I was faced with this question. Larry cuts a pie into 12 pieces and takes nine for himself. What does Larry have? I answered diabetes. I'm failing math. I'm forever alone and really hungry. Dear Diary, today, I found out the Muppets who don't make the cut for Sesame Street were turned into sweaters. I can no longer open my closet without Sarah McLaughlin playing. Forever alone, <laughs> wiping up the tears. Yeah. <laughs> 
Try that. Okay. Yes. 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 That's good advice. Yeah. That's awesome. I think I want to ask a, a more mature lady. A more mature lady. I'm a mature lady. What is your name? Laura Lee. Laura Lee? something more than all this? 
you know? Something bigger than us? Something maybe that we even haven't discovered? Not really, no. <laughs> really? Why? Because we control the universe, that's why. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm bored. <laughs> well, do you want to start an earthquake? Nah. Do you want to create a planet? <laughs> nah. Do you want to hurl a giant asteroid at Earth? <laughs> That's like fish in a barrel stuff. <laughs> hey, hey. Do you want to misplace some guy's keys and have him look for them all day long, only for them to end up in his pant pocket later on that day, way later? <laughs> okay, that I like. All right. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> oh, f I've lost my keys. Hey, I'm sorry. Right in the front row. Yeah, you two, you two. Could you just check under your sit your chairs, please? Did you see? It's just, it's like a Dodge Dakota little beeper. Why is this always happening? Screw you, universe. Dear Diary, I hate how hookers raise their prices on Valentine's Day. I just want someone to rub my back while I'm in the fetal position. Forever alone and saving for next year. Dear Diary, Today, I tried humming and plugging my nose at the same time. I passed out and I can't find my pants. Forever alone and slightly concerned. Dear Diary, Today, I watched a vegetarian eat an animal cracker. My English teacher would be proud how fast I defined situational irony. Forever alone going back to high school.
Are you giving me an ultimatum? I have no choice, Dave. Has it really come to this? I'm afraid it has. I want our Wednesdays back. I, I can't. I. What's it going to be, Dave? Wings or me? But I... I... Wings or me, Dave? I... He chose wings, didn't he? No, he chose me. It just took him so long. Well, what did he need me for? I... I want you to remove his wing gland. Oh. I, I know it may sound extreme, but the temptation is just too strong. I don't want any chance of relapse. Well, you do relapse. Yes, I've done my research. I know that there are consequences. I know that the wing gland is the primary producer of serotonin in men and one of the last remaining vestiges of social contact of the male species. And there is only a small percentage chance that he will retain even a portion of those things. But it's a risk that I am willing to take. I want our Wednesdays back. Well, if you will have it so, then I will make it so. I, um, I will have it so. <laughs> and so it shall be made. Now he's on his way home from work, right? Yes. Oh, so good to see you. You too. You look fabulous. Thank you. Oh, and say hi to the dirty show for me. Oh, those girls are to die for. Oh, such like sweethearts. Yeah. I granted them their second command. Oh, do tell. Well, my lips are sealed. But their lips are oh, not. <laughs> Say no more. I won't. Touch <laughs> Seven, but but I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like it. I'd rather stay in with you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I feel funny. Hello and welcome to the historical village of Yauri. My name is Yimi. I was a farmer back here, back in 1873. Today, I'm going to take you back to the past and show you what it was like to live back then. Oh, that sounds like fun. Uh, as a farmer, it was my job to churn the bitter. It took not have cream. <laughs> if my cream was good, I could get paid up to ten whole dollars. That was enough to feed my family for a year, pay back the blacksmith for shooting my horses, and if I was lucky, Buy a new sheep for my wife so she could use the wool to mend her clothes. Wow, interesting. <laughs> oh, here comes my wife now. Hello, Yana. Oh, hello, Yimi. I want using my one free hour of cooking in God's country to come see how your brother churning is going. Oh, it is good, wife. Oh, uh... <laughs> come. I just sweat from my brow. Oh, yo. So, uh, how long have you two been married? Oh, 20 years. Oh, yeah. Not only that, but to stay up with the authenticity of the period, we married in real life, too. <laughs> oh, that's commitment. Oh, uh, yeah. We are cousins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is true. We are first cousins. And <laughs> just like that, we were here, me and Yana, who married back then, because they were cousins, too. <laughs> Even our parents were cousins. Oh, no. <laughs> the family is what oh, we always say. Oh. Yeah, and we were blessed with seven beautiful inbred children. <laughs> Each one a little dimmer than the last. <laughs> so, you have seven inbred children in real life? Well, of course. Oh, 100% authentic. <laughs> Did you people ever hear of birth control? Oh, birth control? No such thing existed in 1873. You people sound like crazy witches to us. And we burn witches. 
I don't even think I can tell you everything I've done for a Klondike bar. Forever alone. Da 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 da. Dear diary, today in church I yelled out YOLO. It was the Easter service. Forever alone and sang ten Hail Marys. Dear Diary, Today, I lost my car keys again. I think the universe is trying to tell me that I should become a full-time hermit. Oh, here they are! Forever alone, with no place to go. 